Hello guys, or even good morning, because here is just 9 am, I already woke, <laughs> I already prepared breakfast, I already walked for one hour, I just left home, you know, at 8 am maybe, because I just wanted uh, to walk till it's not too hot, because it will really become hot uh, <laughs> since today, next day also will be around uh, 28 degrees and everything, and it's sunny day, so I came uh, to the park, a uh, new park near the river and it's called Riviera. I will show it to you. They opened it June 1st. We have the day of like uh, children protection day and this day they opened it and there were too many people so I couldn't walk <laughs> uh, today not so much so I can show it to you. It's really so beautiful. I love it. So let's go. Okay, this is what we have <laughs> since this holiday. They gave to everyone uh, the ice cream and so on. Ah, do you see this one? I can just sit here. Look. Zhoo. Oh, let's try. <laughs> happiness, 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 um, and. Uh, Yes, good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I will come here every day, I think, in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, in June 1st, here were so many people. I couldn't actually sit here. You know, it's really good for your uh, health when you can concentrate on the same uh, point. That's what we do on yoga, something like this. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, such a nice territory for children. Let's try. Let's touch everything. <laughs> I don't know what uh, to use it for, but I think children should be happy. Even I'm happy, so... <laughs> um, there is the, I would say, central uh, beach. So they also make this uh, bridge uh, that if you're more comfortable like to walk here to come there faster oh my gosh I just imagined how many tourists will be here mm, the houses also they finish constru construction of these buildings okay uh, what else see them you know uh, there you also can walk. I've never been in Sochi in June, so for me it's really a surprise how beautiful it's here. I already prepare for my Moscow trip soon. I'm surprised that people come for classes during the summer time. <laughs> to be honest, I thought that um, in summer people already not so interested, but it seems that uh, some people mm, are agree that it's good <laughs> when you have a free time during the summer and you can start learning the language. And actually that's what I did last year. I also started learning French in summer. <laughs> and it was so cool because uh, the weather was nice. I had a lot of energy and I just remember how in the morning I uh, walked, then I come back, did my homework um, and uh, in the end of summer I already had A1 level in French. So cool. So I'm glad that they come and uh, we will have a very productive uh, work even during the summer when everyone will uh, lie on the beach. They also will lie on the beach, but already with knowledge of Russian. So happy. <laughs> Yeah, maybe uh, some people don't know. I created a Russian, um, a Russian YouTube, also very useful if you learn Russian. If you're interested, follow it uh, because there are maybe not so many views, but I would say it's really useful because I do video podcast, uh, video podcasts uh, with Russian, with the English subtitles and everything. So. A vocabulary videos oh my gosh <laughs> so I really I really love it and now I'm more focused uh, these days on doing vlogs I don't know why I just felt that I have energy for that to share my life uh, because the weather is nice 
the life is wonderful so i will also show it to you ah, look at these palms uh these palm trees aren't um they they were bring to sochi so uh oh my gosh it looks like dubai you know uh this vibe it looks similar so this one oh my god guys i don't know if you agree with me or no but uh, for me like for a person who were born in the far east sure it's so unusual to see everything oh look happy people happy morning good morning to everyone <laughs> okay the beach actually i would say that the cost of the rest in sochi is the same like in dubai <laughs> so everyone choose what he or she prefer and yes to be very honest i wouldn't go for example from the vladivostok to sochi just to rest here uh, because the prices are really high here during the summer time and uh, here i guess will be so many people maybe i say this because i live uh, i were born near the sea and for me it's something usual to have somewhere near the sea for other people sure it's not but for me uh, to go so far sure I would go somewhere near the Vladivostok maybe to Thailand or Vietnam if, if I would need uh, now I don't have this desire because uh, my <laughs> I, I still like uh, how everything going this is something super super cute okay so nice and here there is the concert near this uh, stairs in the evenings usually we can watch Hello guys, today I want to take a for a walk a bit uh, near my house because I live near the Dacia Stalina Okay, you don't see <laughs> Dacia Stalina So I think this video will be kind of interesting because maybe you want to see uh, in reality how he lived there or how he spent his time here in Sochi, in Apazia uh, he had uh, some uh, houses so one of them I will show you uh, this is still uh, my area where I live it's maybe 15 minutes by walk from my house and uh, <laughs> actually from there I even can see my house mm, so let's go well this road is kind of long i will show you how many stairs we need to cross <laughs> to come there uh, anyway i really love this territory because here are a lot of trees palm trees and really beautiful good uh, uh, very good air so let's go okay we still go let's go Well, uh, to be honest, even if uh, Sochi is, uh, oh, look, what a beautiful houses. Uh, even if Sochi is kind of safe, I'm still scared <laughs> to live in the forest alone. I hope. Oh my God! Again, the dogs. Ah, I'm almost used to dogs here, uh, everywhere, but still, kind of um, a bit scared of them <laughs> because they're really big and stay everywhere maybe protect houses so I hope everything will be okay let's go look some people even have the waterfalls What do you think about these houses? Would you like to live here, somewhere in these places? Actually, I never had dream to live in a big house, you know. 
roses are everywhere, beautiful flowers. I just study now and we still continue going there. Uh, this forest, this road reminds me of Shmakovka, do you remember where we were? But here also we have bamboo trees and as always R plus S is equals love. <laughs> so some people really love to now make some notes here. Okay. okay, and the last stairs. So already the third time when I walk there, so every time it seems easier and easier to go there. You know, before for me it felt too long way, but I uh, know it's it's okay, it's fine. Okay, we already come closer and closer. Okay guys, so write in comments uh, what you think about these places I showed you, uh, about the Dacia of Stalin, about uh, this beach, uh, is it interesting or no, what to show you, <laughs> stay with me, have a good day.